In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to be running match coverage right now in Madden 23. And I'm going to be showing you adjustments that you can utilize, really simple adjustments that you can use to make match coverage a really incredible base coverage and base defense for your scheme. Now, if you are looking to improve your Madden game, I'd really encourage you to join my Patreon. There, I have an entire ebook devoted to not only teaching you how match works, but also how to make it work even better and how to use it as a complete defensive system. So if you want to check all that stuff out, um, the link is in the description for becoming a Patreon uh, member. By joining the Patreon, you'll get access to all of my Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. In addition to that, you'll also be able to get all the updates to those ebooks as well as any new ebooks that we will release while your membership is active. We just released a brand new Nickel 3-3 Cub defensive ebook out of the 46 playbook. This defense is absolutely incredible. We're going to be showing you why it's so good um, in this game, specifically as it pertains to the match piece of this. So uh, let's get on the field here. I want to show you something. Uh, with 4-6 playbook, the reason we want to run this is because we can come out in the Nickel 3-3 and... We can put safeties at the linebacker position. This is going to allow two things. Number one, it's going to allow us to have really fast players on the field that can cover in space. But number two, it's also going to allow us to um, have different adjustments from nickel 3-3 than we would if we just came out in nickel 3-3 cub. We're going to be able to cross man linebackers um, as, and, and things like that. So we're going to put in our 3-3 in our cub, you're going to see here in my audibles, I'm going to put... Uh, cover four show two this cover four show two is going to play just like cover four quarters and we want to make sure in our zone coverage and our coaching adjustments we set this to match now the beauty of this defense is going to adapt very well to any offense that you're going to face so you'll see here when i audible down all i'm going to do is run my match coverage now um you'll see this is match coverage we're going to get a box check to the bunch side what that basically means is they're going to tank any flooding combination and they're going to match appropriately just like that now I'm gonna teach you in this video a really simple adjustment that will help you uh, I call it the 90% rule against 90% of players this will be one of the only thing you need to do so what we're gonna do is we're gonna blitz our user we're going to then take this blitzing linebacker and we're gonna man him up in the tight end now the reason we want to blitz our user is because that's going to give us better sheds on the field. And the reason we want to man up the tight end is because, generally speaking, in match coverage, the thing that's going to make or break your match coverage is how the match coverage is going to work against the number three receiver on the field. So what you'll see here is now we have that number three receiver manned up, and you see we're able to defend all kinds of different concepts that are really good out of this. So let me give you another example. We'll go to another match uh, play, and then I'll show you some stuff in just a second that um, I think you'll really enjoy. Uh, but anyways, you'll see here something like this. This is normally a match beater. Um, and actually, RB was getting open there. Uh, and there's some other things that we can do. We teach in the ebook a little bit of how to kind of curb it. But generally speaking, the majority of what people are going to be doing against match, if, just by simple act of manning up this, this tight end, and then from there... Um, being open, you know, however you need to be, however your user needs to be handled um, is going to be plenty. You can either, you can do something like this. It's actually not a bad idea um, because skinny posts aren't the most effective route this year. You can outside third the bunch side solo corner. You can inside third the safety and then you can deep half this right side defender. So you see that they're going to basically roll the match coverage to the bunch side. This is a really effective way to stop any kind of verticals um, that you might see as you see the double coverage. What makes match so powerful is it um, is basically zone or man depending on the route distribution or the pattern distribution that they're going to run. So it's going to adjust to whatever play your opponent's going to call. But the other thing that makes match really effective is its ability to handle aggressive catches because of how it's going to line up and the natural reroutes in this formation. For example, let's say we were playing a 2x2 two two set. It doesn't really matter what kind of set, um, but this is a very popular um, set to attack the seams out of right now. So we can come out in our cover four. And all we're going to do is we're going to blitz our user and we're going to man up the number three receiver. Well, in this example, the number three receiver is actually on, is the running back. 
And so we're just going to take the linebacker and man him up on the, the running back. And what you'll see is we'll do a pretty good job of handling these seams in the middle of the field that are so effective. So match coverage can now be massively adapted um, to fit whatever formation you're facing uh, just with this simple adjustment right here. Again, just taking the number three receiver out of the play is going to significantly help your match coverage. So you see here again, we're just going to take that guy out of the play and then we're going to be able to, you know, really work them uh, with our with our coverage. This is probably my favorite defense right now if I want to play kind of a more coverage uh, style of approach because of how simple the setup is. Literally all you're doing is you're just going to man up the number three receiver. So um, let's go to U-Trips, for example. In U-Trips, the most important receiver to defend is by far the tight end. So again, if you look at the natural setup of this play, we're already equipped to handle the tight end. We're just going to man that linebacker up on the tight end. And then what you'll see here is we're going to kind of be able to always help out and always be able to handle their two most important players. You see we're double teaming the number one, and then we're kind of bracketing the tight end and that solo receiver. This is also really good if you wanted to, for whatever reason, if you wanted to send some pressure, there's some pretty cool ways you can blitz out of this formation, which we go over in the ebook. But I'm going to give you a simple setup here, uh, and that's basically this. We can run our match coverage to the right side, and then what we'll do on the left side is we'll do kind of this little, little scissors adjustment right here that can really help counter any kind of trips formation. So now all we got to do is, again, come over here and help out, and you see how good the pressure is. Now, in the ebook, we teach you how to get this blitz to come in if they block their running back, if they block their tight end, different pass protection adjustments that you have at your disposal. Let me give you one last example. Let's take a look at trips tight end. And again, it's the same basic adjustment. All you're doing is calling cover four show two, and then you're going to take that blitzing linebacker and man him up on the problem. And normally the problem is the number three receiver. So in this example, same basic thing. You'll see he's going to man up on that number three receiver, make his life a little harder. Now we're getting bracketed coverage on the best player on the field, the most important essential player to, de to defend whenever you are in a match defense. So this is, like I said, one of my favorite little defenses here in the game. Um, you could do different things to make it even better. You'll see here, this way we get a jam on the number three receiver, as well as bracketed from the safety. Still comes down with the ball. Welcome to Madden 23, but you see how effective this defense really is for putting you in a position where you can have a chance uh, to make a lot of really, really good plays. Some other things you can utilize against trips adjustments, for example, is we could bracket the tight end by basically doing something like this. Now we have the tight end bracketed. So you'll see here the tight end corner routes that are really good from trips. We can basically, again, adjust out of the match coverage. And that's how we, te we teach you more uh, detailed variation of this in the Patreon. So if you want to get access to the full defensive ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. It's only $10 to sign up. The link is in the description if you want to sign up. And by becoming a member, you're going to get access to all of our ebooks as well as all the updates to the ebooks and any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. Can we just release this entire 3 3 Cub defensive ebook? I think it's my best defensive ebook so far, not only because of the simplicity, but also because of the dominant pressure that you can create, the balanced run defense, and the incredible coverage concepts that we have in this formation. If you want to check out the full defensive ebook and start locking people down, make sure you join our Patreon. If you want to sign up for that, head down to the description below and click the link in the description.